this a test cold start of the lithium iron phosphate battery it has a 400 cc's it's like five pounds it's a very light battery it's a bit expensive the the brand is earth x i had it for like half a year now and it's uh it's pretty reliable so far so good two degrees new york february 14 2016. inside 65 yep pretty close negative 13 it was in one spot The coldest I have uh, remember. And, uh, let's see if this thing starts. She's lithium iron phosphate battery, 400 CCA, so cold cranking amps, uh, five pound battery on a 2012 Honda Civic, which is a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. Let's see if it, uh, well, that works. That's good. That's good. Okay, well, there was a little hesitance, but all right, very nice. One thing I forgot to mention is the this battery has the BMS. Did a lot of research before buying one, and there's a lot of information online. If you are deciding to buy one, definitely spend a little extra if, if you need to, but get the one with the BMS system, which is battery management system that is integrated electronic board uh, inside the battery that are controls different parameters so that the, the battery will never be overcharged it's never gonna get over discharged i think there's like a temperature control in there so it's like a bunch of safety features so that the bear the berries the cells themselves they don't get damaged there also might be like an equalizing feature that makes sure that every cell has the same voltage yeah definitely get a battery with that this way it's gonna last your well, should last you a really long time also these batteries might be uh, easily damaged with water if there's any water contact i had the battery for about nine months and used it almost every every day never gave me a problem and in the winter it started up fine but it's been a year that i have sold the civic and of course i took out the battery put the uh, the stock one in and uh, i made a trade in got a new car um, but i put it on the shelf and it's been a year and i'm curious uh, if the voltage dropped at all so let's check it out i got a, a small multimeter from radio shack let's see if it works 13.1 volts it has been i would say a year on a dot you know like maybe a little more maybe a little less but like literally a year since i sold the honda city 13 volts so obviously the battery was fully charged when I took it out from the city because I drove the car almost every day. So, 13 volts. Now, important thing I didn't mention when I was making that footage a year ago. Um, this is not a 12 and a half volt uh, battery. This one is actually... Oh man, is it 13 and a half? 13, I want to say 13 and a half. It's higher than 12 and a half, but it's not too high that your car cannot charge it. So my Civic was charging it just fine. Uh, everything was fine. Uh, that Honda Civic had about, when I sold it, it had about 45,000 miles. So obviously the alternator was doing a fine job charging this battery, which has, which has a higher voltage uh, uh, as its normal value. So, wow. In a year, it still holds 13 volts. Sounds like very good technology. And probably that uh, battery system management system inside, BSM or BSI, whatever it's called, very important feature. I would highly suggest making sure that when you do buy a lithium battery, 
you want to have that weight savings uh, definitely look for one that has uh, that chip inside that electronic management lithium technology is uh, very it's like a crybaby you gotta take care of it